Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Virtue's Last Rewards. Today, we only have one place to go, unless I can guess the rest of that password for that computer. And it's over here. Now, let's try to remind ourselves where this was. This was... We were in the garden with Alice, right? Is that what this was? Yeah? That sounds about right. Let's jump here. And we cut through all this, and then... Oh yeah, dots! Dots? Dots. Seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. What the hell? Uh, he was convicted of a string of numbers. I was almost as surprised as she was. The numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind, and I was saying them before I knew what I could, what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously, and I stared back. Where did... Wait, can you say that again? No. Uh, yeah, that. That's 198,449,350... Are you a robot? What? That number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,000... So you're just a robot. ...to the third power. You're talking about reducing an integer to a series of prime numbers that you multiply together to get it, right? Like, if you have 30, then you get 2 times 3 times 5, right? Exactly. That one I understand! <laughs> you probably learned that in junior high, right? Hey, shut up! So you're saying that uh, 19844935 is a prime. And if you multiply it by itself three times, you get that shit. Yes. Don't tell me you just did all that in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Because you're a beep boop robot. Simple mental arithmetic. I wouldn't say simple. Mental, maybe. What? No way. That's impossible. I told you. I'm better at math than most people. Most humans, yes. Machines, maybe not. That's not better than at math. Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. Yeah, but I'm a time-traveling android clone. That's different. That seems pretty astounding. Where did you find that number anyway? In a different timeline? I didn't know what to say. What would I tell her? That it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. Okay. I think there's Take your goddamn word for it. Memorized ...was specifically created by someone. Uh... Can you explain that with, uh, small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. No. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. It's our hint for cracking something. You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? Uh, I think it was a lot of grimace porn, wasn't it? Yeah, that. And the second row? That. I think. And they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. Thank you, time traveling android robot clone person. You could really use someone like you back at the. I'll keep going. How do we decode it? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. What? How do we do that? Well, the first number is one, so take the first letter. The next number is nine, so go nine letters over from the first one. Oh, fuck nine. that. Just keep going until you get something. Kronos, you wouldn't make a good secret agent of any organization. Yeah, no, if I had to do that shit, absolutely not. Makes sense. I ran over what she said in my head. The prime number Alice was giving me was that. So what would we get if we picked out our picked out letters like she explained? The first letter would be C from the top left. Then move nine over to the right, they'll give you zero. Uh, then or O. Then eight over eight more to the right. Eventually we get a word. And that word was You Assholes! Are you actually making me do th Oh Fuck. Yeah, okay, solve it now. Where's my memo? Starts with CO, right? That's what you're saying? 
was it like freaking cock knobs? That's not even an insult, Cronus. I know. Okay, so one is C. Then nine over, one is zero. Okay, or O if you want to be technical about it. Then eight over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is M. Um, <laughs> I hope. Four over from that is P. Four from that is L? Yeah, that seems right. Nine from that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is E. Then, where the, where the hell was I there? Okay. Yeah, then five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, what? R? No. No, 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 I miscounted there. I had to have. It can't be complert, all right? That's not a goddamn word. It can't be complert. Is it complete? It's pl I'll try complert. Remember the key is that. Closing this window will take you to the input screen. Good. All right. Uh, come. Alert. <laughs> okay, it's complete, yes. Is it not complete? Wait a minute. Spell it right? I spelled it right, didn't I? It's not complete? Oh, is it completed? Okay. Sure, completed. You know, for a second there, my mind was like, you totally spelled complete wrong. And I was like, no, I didn't. There's no way I spelled complete wrong. And, was, and I was spelling it right. It was actually completed, though. I did it. <laughs> completed. That's it. That's the answer. Completed? Are you sure? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, I did exactly what you told me to. And the word it got was completed. No, no, no. The word it got was complert. <laughs> well, actually, it was completed, completed, completed. The code and the letters repeat every two lines. Uh, it just repeats. Mm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can. If you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely certain. Right, then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, though. What? Aside from the obvious, you mean? I'm guessing it means mission complete. Uh, so that... Oh! So that's what that transmits... Oh, wait, that, we're looking back into the other timeline. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment ago. It was a wave had rushed through away from the sand, revealing a be uh, bed of uh, precious gems underneath. Don't you dare to be continue my ass, I swear to God. You do not to be continue my ass. I got nowhere else to go, game! I can't go home! I'm already here! Hold the diver! Sacred mission is at last complete. These two hands and mankind is saved. Told you we should off this dude. I am your well made flesh. Let's torture him before we do it though, to make sure we get all the answers. In your name, I give thanks. Damn it, why hadn't I realized it before? I mean it was freaking obvious. I could remember a series of numbers, but not this. At least I remember now. Dia was a member of the Mamerdons, and not just any member, he was their leader. That meant he had to be the one that planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? No, I'm having memories of past lives. <laughs> then answer my question. I don't know where your shirt is. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely, she just think I've been saying, because I was. Even I could barely make sense of the sudden influx of new information. 
Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. No, I'm a time traveling android robot clone. I was, do you really think I'd reveal myself like this? I don't know where Clover appeared. Hi. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Really? We're all down in the floor B warehouse. Cool. Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Why? You still got 45 minutes until the white doors open. I know that. Not that we're going through them, I would imagine. Okay. Hey. Wait a minute. I thought UK Cork didn't know about the white doors. Yoji told us about them. That liar! He said he'd show us where they were. So we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah. Anyway, when we showed up, Fi and Kay were already there. Well, so? all of a sudden, Fi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. Cool. What? Why? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Ten only had one BP left, Fi had chosen Betray. They started the fight, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged in it too. That seems odd. Fi only had one BP too. Your choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh, just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. Good. We also need Kay to break Dio's legs. Though Kay might be involved in this too. Coming. Well, okay. Dio's not involved in the games. Kay might be involved in the games. At least when he gets his memory back. I still don't know why he killed himself and Fi. Though. And me by extension because I went back and spent too much time trying to get the, the injection gun. Then I wasted it on Fi and died. Kind of silly, you're right. All four of them were there, uh, were still there when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit before the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even the smallest spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was standing ramrod straight with his hands balled into a fist at his side. I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. Most of the room? Really? This place is gigantic. Clover told me what was going on. This whole thing is stupid. We need to knock it off. What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. Hey! Don't have to be so honest. I know, but yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for you to do right now is to trust each other and get out, get through this. Wouldn't you agree? It's hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was going to do? Might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. She has a point. I could say the same thing to you. But you you let Dio choose, you dumbass. You think Dio didn't choose Ally. Of course he wouldn't choose Ally. Dude murders people. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. This is true. Perhaps. But I think that's better than nearly killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. What? Ah! God damn it! Enough already! Dio is a murderer! I warned with fury and my voice echoed and rebounded off the wall of the warehouses. Or warehouse. Everyone fell silent. It was pretty badass. I didn't know how long the silence would last, so I decided to put it all to the t on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. <laughs> Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Yeah! Kay, get him! Sort of. I know which one of you did. It is. Spit it out, then. Please. Explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. They're going to admit their guilt in a few minutes. What? You're really gonna hear it straight from the horse's mouth. 
Or I guess I should say Dio's mouth. <laughs> what are you on? A lot of things, but that's not the point. I set those bombs. No, I know. Yeah, I do. If you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. I don't know the entire game. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Yeah. Where the hell did you get that fact? Another timeline. Funny as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He just played dumb. He was good at that, because he was dumb, and I get nothing. That meant I was going to do have to trick him. Well, you see, I was actually from Free the I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? I probably. Don't play dumb, Dio. Or should I call call you left? Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. It was quick, but for just a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt on that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on steak. On a steak. Fine. See how the symptoms is understandable. Admiral, even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about brother's background and how his, his younger brother left, had been murdered. I mentioned the I mentioned casually that the Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. So, still not convinced? How about this? That number. Did a, do a little prime factor decomposition uh, decomposition on that, and you'll get that number to the third power. If I'm not who I say I am, how on earth will, could I possibly know that? No, that's not possible. Finally! So, let's start over, shall we? I was sending the Watcher every move. It was it seems that our wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspected betrayal. You're lying! I assure you, I am not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him yourself with your transmitter? No. No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he... Huh? S sorry, what was that? Said. Why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if... Kay, Get him! <laughs> I grinned. Wait. What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Dio. I've never even seen, brother. What the hell was all that? Timeline. Different timeline. You know all those things. Uh, time traveling android robot clone psychic. Don't know. Maybe I was divining and uh, ins I was divin divin divinely inspired. Give me that shit. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Kay, break his legs. What are these myrmidons? Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Ten quickly explained to Fi and Kay about the memory card and the number two bomb, and about the code we found from uh, that was from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah! Bastards. I'll never forgive you. Okay, Alice, get him! I heard a low, furious, uh, furious muttering behind me and turned to see Alice, her lips pulled back into a snarl. I That's not a snarl. I'm going to kill you. Yes. Her voice rose to a scream as she charged towards Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something from his pocket. Whoa there. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. Didn't you say you weren't corrupted anymore? What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh, oh my god. Is that... is that the detonator? Exactly. And I assume you know what happens if I press this button? I jump to a different timeline, probably? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. See, this is why we break his legs before he gets a chance to do anything. Well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? No, there's a number zero bomb. Correct. And there's one more, too. No. There are four bombs? There are four lights? Exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. Zero. Bomb number zero. Yeah. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Cool. Those go off and it's all over. Okay. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So, I'm ready for that. Oh good, kill him! I've got spares. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Yeah, clones. You know you're not actually the same people though. 
I heard, here, I heard Alice went for something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Is Clover gonna get, take him on? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Before I had a chance to ask them what, there was go what was going on, they moved. Die, you bastard! Yes! She roared and leapt towards Dio, Clover falling just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face, and as he dodged, Clover spun out from behind her. Dio grunted and turned uh, to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Yeah! Sick! Don't throw it! Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the dead. Are you insane? I scrambled to grab it out of the air and held it on my chest. To break all his bones! Yelling didn't do him any good. Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Oh, pull up! Strangely, though, once they had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with his neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered, or did he have some sort of trick up his sleeve? It didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long before my, uh, for my misgivings to prove true. I didn't enter my hand suddenly began to flash. What? Ha, serves you right. <laughs> what does it have like be on his body at all times or something? What are you laughing at? You, her, all of you. God, you're stupid. What? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. Yeah, it seems about right. So that's why we should just kill him and leave it on him. Figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. <laughs> So we spend that time torturing him, make the last moment of his life extremely horrible. <laughs> About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Of me time. Oh no. My condolences. Well, what can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey Alice, who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. Break his arm! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck! Stop! You're gonna break it! Yeah! Do it! Break it! Of course. That's the plan. <laughs> oh, okay, starting to like Alice now. Please, stop! No, no, no! Keep going! Just tell me what I want to Start know. pulling out fingernails! <laughs> okay! Okay, I'll tell you! It's in my coat! In the right-hand pocket! Clover, check right. She nodded and started digging through his pockets. After a few minutes, it's few so minutes. There's nothing here. Did you lie to me? No, I, I swear. Keep looking. Oh, there is something in here. God damn it, Clover! Clover pulled her hand out of her po uh, his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like the medicine? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. No, don't do that! Clover frowned and moved close to the deal, holding the pill out towards him. Why? It's it's gonna be poison, isn't it? Suddenly he moved his right hand, snatched as uh, snack as uh, sna snaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before he could anyone could react, he shoved it in his mouth and cyanide. Heard a tiny crack as he bit down. Almost immediately he grimaced in pain. <laughs> Shit! What? This is why we torture before he does that. What was that? Poison, I guess. What? Damn. How could I be so stupid? To be fair, Cl Clover's the one that brought it to his face. <laughs> yeah, break his arm while he's still alive. His eyes rolled up into his head and a flex of spittle began to trickle out from the corner of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. What the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? Lost it in my couch. Back home. You have a couch? Don't screw with me. Yeah. 
Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Yes, that'd be fine. Deactivation. <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good. Oh, uh, not in this timeline, probably. But I got a few others I can jump to. I'll tell you. But you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Okay, one second. I gotta get my memo pad out. Ready? No. One yeah. second. X Q. This is bomb three, you said? N M R. Uh, L X Q L H C. Uh, yeah. That's for bomb three. So we just need bomb two now. What about the other three? Tell us the other three. Tell us bomb two at the very least. He didn't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation. A bright future. Your body's gonna be dust in like, I don't know how many minutes. His voice was weak, and more foam was dribbling out of his mouth, uh, dribbling out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. Seriously, break his arm before he dies? May brother live in everlasting glory. Those were the last words Dio spoke. Should have broke his arm. He died with a strange, happy smile. Damn. They only gave us the password for one of the bombs. Yeah, but I got two others here. We just need a third one. Or a fourth one. I can count. What are we gonna do? Probably die. <laughs> I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are gonna go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Sweet. Yes, the time on your bracelet is the time we have left. <laughs> oh, so 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but it takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So, yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. <laughs> and the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Okay, well, we got zero and exactly. one. Exactly. <laughs> uh, maybe Dio has a note or something. Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down to quickly check his pockets and sleeves, then sat back on her heels, frustrated. Damn. He's clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Oh yeah, she doesn't even know. I'm on it. Good. The rest we can do this. Now yeah, let's move out. Yeah. Let's go. Can we do this though? Uh, we can't do this. <laughs> we can't do this. We all took off at a run, heading to different parts of the building. But all the searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept clock kept ticking. Then, at last, the chromatic doors opened. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Our time had run out. We watched the white doors. Were, were, there, were they doors to heaven or to hell? Thought barely had time to flutter through my mind before everything went white. We didn't even have time to say goodbye. You had 25 minutes to say goodbye. A thousand motions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? Then a blistering wave of heat, like the surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. We've seen this in black and white before. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness, a.k.a. another timeline. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void. Okay. So, we heard Alice's backstory before this, so this is Alice's end. I'm gonna press A to skip it, right? 
Yeah, Alice End. Uh, best served cold. I get it. That's a good one, game. I get that. All right, so we got ah ooh. So this route is now open over here. Who planted the bombs? It was Dio. Holy shit. Um, but we're going to go do this one next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.